Hello there, thank you very much for clicking on this video. I really do appreciate it. Um, I just wanted to talk about um, the 30th anniversary edition of Definitely Maybe. Now, this is the 25th anniversary edition. Um, the 30th anniversary edition has the same mix on, um, on it. So why, why bother buying it? I'll just show you this as well. I'm a, as you know, I'm a coloured vinyl whore. Uh, I, suppose, I, I think it was classed as silver, but it's just like a grey, isn't it? It's like, yeah, I mean, no. so you know me, I'm, I've been tarnished with the brush of always moaning about the cost of things and how we're getting ripped off. So, you know, I've got the 25th anniversary uh, edition. Um, the mix is exactly the same as the 30th anniversary edition. Only a fool would buy the 30th anniversary edition if they've got the 20th. Mental. Who would do that? Does, does anybody else have this problem? I, I, can't, I can't do these. God, please! <laughs> okay, I bought it, but why, why, why did I buy it? Because, just like all the people that I complain about, sometimes I'm a sucker and I buy something that I think, ooh, that looks good. So, I bought the 30th anniversary edition of Definitely Maybe, but I got it from Blood Records, and I don't know if you can see that. I've got 13,500, yeah. And actually, whilst I think about it, that's another thing that bugs me about us collectors. Now, I've got number 13,518, but for some reason, there'll be people out there go, well, I've got number two, so that's worth more. It's not worth more. Stop being bellends. So I got this for two reasons. I'll show you the first reason. Um, I prefer the vinyl. It's a colour vinyl again. This is the first time I'm seeing it, by the way. So this will be news to you and me. Can you see that? It's a nice colour. Can you see? Can you also see? It's a bit of plastic. Bloody hell. Unbelievable. But yeah, so that, and I'm sure the other one looks the same. So have a look. Yeah, so I think you, I think you can agree that's a lot better than the silver version that I've got. So yeah, I'm happy with that. The main reason I bought it and I'm looking at it now, and it's not perfect, if I'm honest. Um, but it's got a, len a lenticular cover. And when I say it's got a lenticular cover, they've stuck a lenticular picture on here um, of the front cover. And I don't know how well I can get it going. But can you see they disappear, empty room, and then they're all in there. I think... I just thought, yeah, that's what that's that's pretty good. It does have a few issues. It doesn't come all the way to the edge. It's not like perfect, but I'm 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 happy with that. I'm happy with that. So the thirtieth anniversary issue was um, issued with just a blank room, but this one, I don't want a blank room. Um, I looked at my subscriber base recently. Just you know, you can get all these analytics. And it turns out that mainly men, like 100% of men, are subscribed to me. That doesn't make sense. 100% of my subscribers are men. And I was like, well, where's all the women? And so, this is for the women. Aren't cats wonderful? Just stay still. Aren't cats wonderful? Why are you fighting me? Why are you fighting me? Please do like, subscribe and share and all that stuff. I think she... I think she got my jugular. Be alright with it. 
So I have listened, obviously, to the album. I'll give it a quick review. Um, it, by the way, it sounds amazing. It really does take you back to, well, it takes me back to, um, you know, the 90s when I was, was I slim? Probably wasn't. So first I want to say that the Mono Valley versions and the sawmill outtakes are, they're, they're all great. They're all great. It's kind of good to hear them almost, just they, they almost got it. And they did change some things for the main album. The main album has 11 tracks on it, so I'm going to score it out of 11 because that's how I roll. So this whole album is amazing and it's actually easier if I just tell you the song I don't like and that's um I forgot its name bring it on down um I've never I've never liked it and it's like when this came out again I thought oh, I better give that it's, it's like it's almost like a, an Oasis song I've never heard um I have uh, but I never play it and I just don't like that song maybe some of you guys really like it but I I, I didn't so sorry every other track on this album is just amazing I, I really do this is such a good album for a first album amazing and this i'm um, you know i'm not even including all the amazing i'm keep saying amazing amazing the the b-sides on the singles as well were all incredible there you go they were amazing as well but i said incredible so we've got rock and roll star brilliant shaker maker brilliant live forever amazing uh <laughs> Up in the Sky, I love Up in the Sky. There's there's also another mix where I think he played with uh, Johnny Depp and it's got, um, what's his name? Noel Gallagher, that's the guy. Uh, <laughs> he's singing on it. Um, Columbia, I think, is my favourite. Probably loads of people disagree with that, but the problem with Columbia is... It's completely stolen. Um, they covered a song. Hang on a minute, I've got it here. They covered a song called Tortuga um, by um, an act called Axe Corner. And um, yeah, it's they, they just covered it. I think they used it in their gigs for Liam to walk on to. But it, it, was a, it was a cover of that. Please go and listen to it. It's like, oh my God. God, that's completely stolen. But then someone said, hey, put some words to that. It's really good. And then they put words to it. And then all of a sudden got completely forgotten that it was a cover. But it is. I'll I'll play I'll play Tortuga. Hopefully the mic will pick it up. If he doesn't, sorry, just go and watch it. I'll put it in the link. Just, just do stuff yourself. But hopefully this... <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go, let's have some drums, cracking, cracking, amazing, anyway, um, I used to like dance music, uh, but yeah, so there you go, Columbia completely stolen, they put words over it and then forgot that they were actually just covering it. Naughty. Supersonic. Bring it all down, I don't like. Cigarettes and alcohol. Dixie's is great. Slide away. Slide away is one that I almost don't like. I know it's like it's it's like a really good song. And when I think about the song, I go, oh no, actually that is pretty good. I might give that half a point, but slide away most people love. And then married with children. Um so this album is absolutely it's brilliant. It's amazing. <laughs> Um, so I'd thoroughly recommend listening to it if you've never heard it just check it out I mean if you've never heard it where the hell have you been but anyway do check it out so my score for that is what 9.5 out of 11 which is great I guess the next release if they this, I know they've reformed to do concerts but are they going to do an album I can't imagine they would I can't imagine they would, but it'd be good if they did. But would it be good if they did? <laughs> let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you've got any idea what I'm talking about. Who knows? 
But I'm guessing the next release will be the 30th anniversary of uh, What's the Story Morning Glory. What they're going to do for that? I'm actually quite looking forward to that. Will I? But I mean, I've got it on vinyl already. Will I buy it again? <sighs> Only an idiot would do that. I'm an idiot. Thank you very much for watching. I know I'm not the most informative guy, but uh, please do go check out the original Columbia um, called Tortuga. Yeah, go check it out. I'll put, I'll put a link in the uh, description. Uh, they stole it. Actually, I believe that the writing credits for it now are what they should be. Yeah, they didn't get away with it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this. This was pretty much a last-minute kind of thing as um, I got home and that album had arrived, so I thought I'd show it to you guys. Sue me. Before I go, let's play Sweet or Meat. Uh, the answer to the last one was actually sweet. Quite a few of you said meat. No, sorry, it was sweet. So here we go again. I'm going to cover my mouth. Is this sweet, the sweet, or meat? the meat so what am i saying sweet or me here we go mince mm. who knows anyway i'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching put your answers put your answers in the comments sweet or me come on <laughs>